Hello guys, it's me again. A uh, week has passed. I'm out again. So uh, I'm on my way to Vienna once more, but only because I found out that there is a cool theater which I want to try. It's the first Vienna English theater, and I read online that this is the oldest English theater on the continent outside of Great Britain, which is quite cool. It was built and established in the 1960s. I ordered myself a ticket. Problem is, I have to get there and pick it up. <laughs> Uh, I can't get it otherwise, so this is why I'm on my way. The show will be in two weeks, so better to have it in time. And I have a few things planned. We will see how I feel if I really want to do them or if I change my mind. Uh, as you know, uh, I can't change my mind too once in a while. <laughs> so let's see. I'm now halfway on the way to Vienna. I, my mom took me with her to work, and now I'm going to the bar, the bar, and then off to Vienna. Guys, we found it. It took me a while to get here, to be honest. It's a bit, uh, yeah, it was an interesting way to get here, yeah, thanks to Google Maps. But this is now the Vienna English Theater. Uh, I told you, built and uh, established in 1960, but it wasn't there first. It moved around a couple of times because the audience got bigger and bigger. And there is a play every day except Sunday. So I'm quite excited to get my ticket now. And then we are off, but now you see this is how it looks like. He tries to steal my breakfast, but he won't get it. So, I was walking down the road. No clue where I am as usually, but, well, I have to be careful where I step. <laughs> uh, but, uh, unfortunately, it brought me to exactly where I wanted to. You maybe see this roll, this gold globe up there, yeah. You yeah, maybe remember it from earlier videos. This is a museum called the Secession. And I tried to get in once before, but half of the museum was closed, so I thought it's not worth really. So, but today is the day. And why I like to see it actually is because Charles Reddy Macintosh, the father of the Glasgow style, was invited once to to, to, to design one of the rooms in there. Last time when I was there, I asked the, the guy at the ticket counter if this room is still there, as it was designed by Charles Rennie Macintosh. Uh, of course, he had no clue who he is. So I have to find out for myself, but I'm very excited. And yeah, well, let's go inside, see if we can find some Macintosh. So that's the side of the museum. It has a slight touch of Macintosh, but I know that he didn't design the outside of the building, so it still gives him a bit of a, of the Macintosh flair though. We see a wee bit of gold. Probably not real gold, otherwise it wouldn't be there anymore. But this is now how it look, lo looks like from the front. And I think we'll just go in and have a look. Here is a wee exhibition about Ludwig van Beethoven. Everybody knows this guy. And in this room you can listen to uh, one of his music, one of his uh, tunes and hymns. And while you listen to it, you can watch a Gustav Klimt fresco or painting. So if this is modern art, I don't really get it, to be honest. And that's me leaving the session about 15 minutes later. Yeah, I've been in, I've seen it once, probably once in my life. And I think for me, personally, that's enough. So let's go on. I'm feeling like I'm running around in Vienna like a wild hen, no clue where I am and where I'm going. But finally, I uh, have my second museum. I want to go in, the House der Musik, the House of Music. Never been in there again, so let's hope I need a little bit more time in this one than in the other one, if you know what I mean. It's already a wee bit educational. Oh, it makes sounds. That's cool.
Here you can enjoy now a bit of music from the uh, Vienna Philharmonica, uh, the Wiener Philharmonica, uh, this orchestra that plays at, uh, on the 1st of January. You can see it on the telly, so I just enjoyed a bit of good music here, classical music. Here are the buttons of different directors of the orchestra with here even one from Richard Strauss. So here we can create our own waltz. Yeah, let's see uh, how it works. It says move your hand across the sensor. That's here. And then, ooh, uh, roll the virtual dice four times. Oops. Okay, I got one, got the, got the other one, here's another hand, so, once more, I try, <laughs> okay, that's, that's the second one, he took this one, let's see, So this is my personal waltz. That's cool. Got my new waltz. Now I, I know what to do. Well, in theory. And let's listen to it. So, listen to the full thing. No, not really. I have to get going. Okay, I try once more. <laughs> Guys, one more and I have all of it. The hand is taking the dice. Oh no. Listen to my own personal waltz. Hope you too. Very much like this room. Maybe I should lie down. The great composers. This is Haydn. Here we have Beethoven. When he turns around. Schubert. Strauss Jr. And here we have Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart.
Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart created now a music to my name and I'll show you now so this is how it looks like we press this one listen Very dramatic ending. <laughs> Thanks, Mozart. So this Requiem was composed by Mozart and it was the last composition of him on his deathbed. Oh, very easy to find out. Here we have Beethoven. The Testament of Ludwig van Beethoven. Now we are in the Franz Schubert room. Strauss is what we have now. I don't know who it is, but we probably found out. <laughs> mm. Now we got it, it's Gustav Mahler. So guys, we are the conductor now. We have to stick and let's see what happens. We are good. Okay, we're a bit too fast. <laughs> I think we're not that bad. One more. And then I think we leave it to the professionals. <laughs> we did it. So guys, this is me now for today. It was so fun. So the House of Music, totally worth going. Uh, yeah, you've seen all the fun. Uh, so I will definitely be back. So I hope you enjoyed it too. And I will see you soon. Hope you're all good. Bye-bye.